Right, so the next bit you're going to need to do, obviously, it, it, well, in my case, the next thing I'm going to do is the PlayStation 3. Now, this, what you're going to need to do is, is tip it upside down. And for this bit, you're probably going to need a flat headed screwdriver. Just get a round one, just a small one. You will notice that right here there's a little uh, notch. What you're going to want to do is put it under there like that. That comes up, twizzle it out of the way. And if you look carefully in here, there's a little blue screw. Now, what you want to do is, you want to obviously take it out. So you keep going. And that'll just come out. I can tell that's got blue head on it, look. Right, so now that you've done that, if you just put that back for now, put it back in, and turn the console back over again, what you're going to want to do is on the bottom there that should slide that way and then come off there's this little handle in here flick it and then pull and this obviously as you can see right here this is the old drive it's just a standard drive Now, just clean it off. And what you want to do is turn it over, and there's four screws on the bottom here. Take each of them out. Just take these screws out. Take them out like so. I'm going to put that down a second. I'm just going to quickly find the other screw that I lost. screws like that look. Those are what are securing this drive in. So now if you just rest them there look, the drive will lift out, that's it. You've got that drive out. Look, same connections, all that stuff. If you just put the old one out of the way, because obviously you're not going to need it. And if we took carefully just put this in lock it in, it'll go, and um, making sure that you hold it because obviously it's uh, loose at the minute, start securing each screw, and what you need to do is make sure that you don't put them in too tight, otherwise it'll, uh, it'll break it and you don't want to do that. There's a little click there, that was just it going in. Because it was a little bit out. Right, so that will secure that bit in. If we just get these other two.
and you're going to just put those in gently, nice and gently. Final one. It's in that. Come on. Right. So, get this. Just move that out of the way. Now, what you're going to want to do is, is just get the drive and slide it in. It will slide in like that. The front panel, just grab that and just put it onto there. Slide it, it will go back in nicely. Now, the blue screw you took out earlier, you're going to want to turn it over, you're going to want to turn the console over, find the little area where the blue screw was in, just uh, pop it out like that, and get the blue screw that you have just taken out, well that you already take, took out a bit ago and this blue screw if you put it back into the hole just in there like that put that in just nicely secure that in obviously console, so don't do it too tightly that will secure the drive just click that back in and for now we're done and that is both consoles upgraded to two terabytes using a Samsung spin point hard drive from inside a Seagate backup plus slim okay All right I'll come back to you in a bit when I've got these all fully connected up and then I'll show you the reinstallation process and the way that that's going to happen. Okay, right, thanks for watching.